Hey everybody, let's take a quick look at Homelink. Uh, this is Homelink 1.8 for Everyday Math 3rd grade. And the first thing you need to do for this is just fill in the numbers on the number grid below. And I think you should be able to do this fairly easily. I'm just going to do part of it. And your first row looks like that. And then to go down to the next one, you're still in the hundreds, the tens place changes, and the ones place will stay the same. And again, this isn't too difficult. Just make sure your ones places are lined up. And I'm just going to do a few more here. And I think you get the idea, and you can do the rest there. Um, now, down here, the next question is which is more, 154 or 131? Which is greater, which is more? And I think you know the answer to that, so write that one here. And then it says, how much more? So we need to find the difference between these two numbers. Now, to, <clears throat> to find the difference, you could just do subtraction, but we conveniently had this hundreds chart here with us, so why don't we use this to help us? So I'm going to start at 131 and count up to 100. Slow way. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 21, 22, 23. But I also understand how the number grid works, and I know if I go down, I'm just adding 10. So I can start here, I can go 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. I suggest also checking your work, just use subtraction, it's easy to subtract those things. And use whatever method you want to do this, and hopefully it matches the answer you got with your number grid. And to do 3 and 4, you use the same method. So, which is less, hopefully you can figure that out. And then, how much less, use your number grid to figure out the difference between those two numbers. And then, check it by subtracting and making sure your answer is correct. And then a lot of times people get slowed down by this, they never know what to write. But all you need to do, how did you find your answer? Well, I used a number grid and I subtracted. Um, just write what you did. It's that simple. And for this last part on the bottom, just make sure you pay attention to where is the equal sign. And don't get confused by having the equal sign on the left. Um, and I think you should be able to figure those out pretty easily. Thank you.